What's happening, guys? This is the Grand Master of Faster, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we defeated Bulasis and completed Area 3. And in this episode, we are going to start Area 4. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab some water element because I want to check to see how that flower in the boneyard is doing. Okay, it looks like that it's regressed back to a bud. So, uh, let's, uh, pour some more water on it. And when we do... We are rewarded with a crap load of cash. I guess you could say all of these coins and bills is a real gold rush. <laughs> ah, that wasn't funny. But the crown jewel is a gold diamond. The gold diamond is the most valuable treasure in the game. Just one is worth 20 million G's. And there are two of them. Meaning that both of those gold diamonds alone accounts for two-fifths of what you need to get the best rank. The two gold diamonds together are worth 40 million and you need 100 million in order to get the A rank. I should also mention that in the European version, it is actually impossible to get the best rank. The reason being is that in the European version, you need 150 million, and uh, you can't get that much during your initial playthrough because there's only around 143 or 144 million Gs in the mansion total. So you have to wait until your second playthrough if you want that A rank. Okay. So we're going to head back to the balcony because there are still some plants here that need watering. And I believe there are, there should be some more gems. Okay. I know those gems are around here somewhere. Oh, didn't water it enough. There we go. There's the gem I was looking for. Most excellent. And wow, eight emeralds. That's pretty nice. There we go. Coins and bills galore. Alright, there should be a couple more here. Yes, indeed, there are. But I am uh, running out of water. I think I should still have enough. There we go. Let's uh, get that gold bar. Okay. So when you are ready, approach the door of diamonds. This can't be good. Criminy! What a calamity! The ele the electricity has gone out. That lightning strike just now must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in this blasted darkness. The ghosts will have the run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. And he's not joking. So when you unlock the Door of Diamonds, you are we are now in the um, other hallway of the third floor. Excuse me! But it appears that there is a ringing noise coming from behind this door. The reason is because this is the telephone room. And yes, as you can imagine, there are telephones here big surprise. Huh, hello? May I ask who is speaking, please? It's Bowser! Eek! <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and tell the truth. L Luigi? Phew! It's me, Toad! 
I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have a terrible problem. The lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you can turn the lights back on? Huh? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you'd know. Oh, me. But now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a large breaker switch somewhere in the basement. More on that later. For now, we've got another phone to answer. Hello? Howdy? Hello? Oh, sorry to surprise you, boy. It's me, Professor E. Gad. Sorry for disturbing you. I know I usually contact you by Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since you were in the room. You know that all ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark. But listen now, there's one ghost who fled from the gallery who only hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. If he's on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? Might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that for some reason he tends to prefer rooms with mirrors. Uh-oh! The ghosts are starting to approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. Speak of the devil! But nevertheless, we learned some pretty interesting information from those phone conversations! That was close. That was too close. All right, let's get rid of you, and, uh, looks like there's one more, I think. Ah, and it's a new ghost. This is the Blue Twirler. Uh, Blue Twirlers are exactly the same as those ice ghosts that we encountered in the Safari Room. Um, they have that slam attack that can be pretty hard to avoid due to its range. And, uh, they can also drag Luigi a little bit easier than most other ghosts. But anyway, as Egad mentioned, there is a blackout, and because of that, every room in the mansion is dark once again, meaning that you are going to be constantly under attack by ghosts wherever you go. So needless to say, this is one of the most annoying parts of the game, uh, if not the most annoying. However, this is also an ideal time to collect any speedy spirits or golden mice that you may have missed beforehand. Of course, if you, um, if you found a speedy spirit and failed to capture it, those, uh, those will still be gone forever. But, uh, if you missed any speedy spirits or golden mice... Go back and collect them. As a matter of fact, there are three specific speedy spirits that can only be found during the blackout. Uh, starting things off, we're going to uh, head into the conservatory. Okay, it's time to make these ghosts face the music. Oh god, just so long as I don't face it first. Oh god. No, not... Ugh, you, sir, are a jerk. Okay. You don't have to capture all of the ghosts before you collect the speedy spirit, but it's, um, it's definitely help more... It's there. It's definitely more convenient if you do. So once all the ghosts have been captured, check the piano bench, and there is the speedy spirit. Okay, that one gave us a ruby. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just want to collect all the coins first. And we're actually coming pretty close to a thousand coins. And wow, nine rubies. Only one left to obtain. Okay, one down, two to go. And again, I get hit by bats and mice. And the occasional bowling ghost, of course. Okay, come on! Cut me some slack! 
Of course, there's no way these ghosts will. No way they'll let me go quietly. All right. Good thing I collected that fire element because we're going to be heading to the hidden room next. Remember that room that we accessed from that mouse hole in the butler's room? Oh god! Oh god! Fire, 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 fire! Burn, baby! Burn? Never mind. Alright. You aren't getting off that easily, pal. Okay. Oh, come on! Get in there! Get in there so you may never rise again! Although, technically, you are dead. So, I suppose that is a bit of a false statement. Oh! Get in there! Ugh! And again, I get hit by freaking mice! And I'm down to 54 health. Holy crap. I better be careful. So let's check the mouse hole and get sucked in. Oh, God. Oh, come on. I get hit by the bat during the during the animation. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm down to 39 health. This is not good. Oh, God. All right. I'm just going to settle for burning these guys. Come on. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Of course they spawn close together. Come on! Can I catch a break for once in this place? All right, two for the price of one. There we go. All right, I got some of my health back. Well, that was a complete and total fiasco. All right, we want to check this treasure chest right here. That is where the speedy spirit lies. And now he resides in my vacuum. Ugh, glad that's over. All right, two down and one to go. Also, emerald number nine. Very nice. Now, the last speedy spirit is hiding in the nursery. Contrary to what you might think, the ghosts do not infinitely spawn. There are a set number of them in each room. Of course, if you do leave, then uh, they will respawn and attack you once more. All right. See if I can get some more fire element. I'm just a little bit more comfortable with element in tow. And no, you are not generous enough to give me a heart. But that base sure is. Excellent. 94 should be enough. Okay, let's head up to the nursery. We're almost done. Very, very close. Okay, just keep on walking. Hello, ceiling surprise. Goodbye, ceiling surprise. And screw you, mice. Okay, we are now inside the nursery and... Oh, God! This story again. Okay, it's not nearly as bad as the hidden room is. Ah, two for the price! Never mind. Let's get rid of the blue twirler since he's the most uh, uh, dangerous of the... Ah, come on! There we go. Come on. All right, one down. And two for the price of one. There we go. And one last endeavor. Fifteen. Zero. There we go. And we actually ended up with full health. How about that? So we want to check Chauncey's crib. Because that is where the speedy spirit lies. And now the speedy spirit can rest in peace because we've got his treasure. Okay. Oh, jeez. I am so glad this hunt is over with. Now that all the speedy spirits have been captured, let's go ahead and find that portrait ghost that Egad talked about. He mentioned that he likes to be inside rooms with mirrors. Now at first thought, Thought, you might think that he is residing in the mirror room, but he is not. Okay, gah! How many gold ghosts does one room need? Apparently five or six. Oh god, in between, there we go. 
And there he is! This is Uncle Grimly! So what you need to do is you need to wait until he puts his hands in the air. Any day now, sir. There we go! And then you can capture him. Uncle Grimly is uh, rather easy, in all honesty. So he doesn't put up much of a fight, as you can plainly see. Oh, God! Do not want to be near the poison mushroom. I hate poison mushrooms, as you... Oh, well, no! Yeah! Giant Pearl! And with Grimly's... With Uncle Grimly's capture, we can open the chest and get a key. This key leads... Unlocks a room in the basement. And believe it or not, we have been in that room before. That is the breaker room. Uh, we went there and caught a speedy spirit before we uh, battled Bulasis. But it has been mysteriously locked, presumably by Uncle Grimly, to keep the mansion in uh, eternal darkness. Okay. Finally, I am out of the danger zone. Well, almost. Once we get to that door on the other side, we're home free. All right. We just need to walk down the basement. Is there any money in that light, I wonder? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's unlock the door and enter the breaker room. Once inside, we need to pull up the switch, and at long last, power has, the power has been restored. Okay, now we've got this key. This key is going to uh, lead us, this key is going to unlock the door across the hallway, but you know... I think I'm going to end the video right here because I have been through enough already. So next time on Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, we are going to truly begin exploring Area 4. Please be sure to leave a like or comment below and subscribe to my channel. Every one of those really helps. See you guys next time. Hey, did you like what you saw? Then be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on my videos. Also, do you want to record LP videos like me? Then check out my kit page for my go-to equipment for recording.